Okay, people, welcome back to Diaries of an Addict and thank you very much for joining me. In today's episode, I'm gonna break down the key fundamentals and mindset that is needed in order for you to achieve and maintain sobriety. All of that and more in less than 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay guys, now if you are on the quest for sobriety and it's something that you want to achieve in life moving forward, ask yourself the following questions after each segment of this video. Am I doing this with the same level of intent, desire and motivation as he is describing in the video? Guys, if the answer is no, that is probably why you're failing and you need to step your game up. Let's get into it. Okay then guys, from the start, let's talk about the individual slash addict in question who wants to change and turn their lives around for the long term. Guys, the individual needs to have an attitude of this. I am sick to death of this addiction. I am sick of what it's doing to me and the family members around me. From now on, I am going to put the sobriety thing at the top of my list, okay? This is my life and I'm going to take back control and I'm gonna do whatever it takes in order to achieve that and maintain that. From this very moment, all events that I have planned, activities and people that I see will only happen if it is in the best interest of me and my goal of sobriety, okay? That, guys, is the attitude and mentality that the addict needs to have every single day. Okay, guys, now we've discussed the individual, we need to talk about motivation. Now, motivation, guys, is a fundamental when it comes to turning your life around, especially in the early days of sobriety. Guys, it's you versus the white powder or whatever the drug of choice once was, which is now controlling you. You've got two choices, guys. You either let this stuff control you for the rest of your life, you throw the towel in and you simply give up, you accept the situation, which of course is the easy route, or guys, you get into battle mode. You don't accept the situation and you do whatever it takes to turn your life around, okay? Guys, the burning desire should naturally be within you to want more out of life, especially if your life is in the toilet from drug addiction. So guys, if you are not motivated, get motivated. Write all the negatives down, you know, what happens every time you use? What consequences do my actions have? Equally with the positives, you know, what goals, dreams, visions do you have? How does my life look like? What does my life look like once my sobriety is on point? Remember guys, once your sobriety is on point, the rest of your life will fall into place. These are the very words I live by. Okay then guys, now that our motivation is on point, we need to do a risk evaluation. And by risk evaluation, I mean this. You need to assess and analyze all factors in your life that could be a cause for concern or problem that may prevent you from achieving your goal of sobriety. Okay, so the most common ones, guys, are this. Friendships, environment, location, money, events. You need to assess all of those things one by one and reduce the risk of relapse or temptation. Of course, the most common one, guys, is this, friendships. Now, people seem to be terrified and scared of leaving their friends behind. But at the end of the day, guys, if you want to achieve sobriety, you have to make sacrifices. And unfortunately, friendships is one of them. Okay, even if you went to primary school with these people, at the end of the day, if they are dragging you down and you want to go sober, yet they are still fascinated by the drugs they want to use week in, week out, and they are holding you back, Guys, they have to go. This is a sacrifice you are going to have to make. The same with the environment. If environment is a big problem for you guys, get the hell out. It is that simple, okay? And it's the same with each of those. Guys, if you have events coming up, you know, an event which is a high risk situation, guys, do not go. Make the sacrifice. You need to get serious in your approach to sobriety. So analyze each of those things, weigh it up, make the smart choice. Okay guys, so now we have those three things in place, i.e. the individual is extremely focused, they know exactly what it is they need to do, and the mindset and discipline that is required in order for them to achieve their goal. They are extremely motivated, and also they have reduced or eliminated any chance of a high risk situation happening. Now is the time to do the hard work. Vamos. Guys, just a quick reminder that coaching is now live. I'm pleased I'm able to now offer a 12 week full support package for anyone who is looking to break free from addiction, get their lives back on track, and finally move forward in life. Full details in the link in the description below. 
I'll see you there. Okay, guys, let's talk about hard work. Now, hard work is where the real magic is going to take place, and this is going to be the start of our transformation journey, okay? Remember, guys, like anything in life, you get out what you put in, okay? How bad do you want it? So, guys, we have a new goal. We wake up in the morning. Sobriety is now my priority, and I'm going to do all that it takes to make sure I achieve that for today. Of course, remembering, guys, one day at a time. So the second your eyes open, my recommendations, you get out your book, you make sure you have an agenda. Your day is going to be full. You have places to go, people to see, okay? And this is gonna help distract you, it's gonna keep you busy, and it's gonna to help to eliminate slash reduce the risk of relapse. Remember guys, I've said in other, vid other videos, the worst combination, free time, money, and boredom. Those three things combined are an absolute nightmare for an addict, and they increase the risk of relapse exponentially. Okay, so make sure you are busy, make sure your day is full. From there, guys, in your plan for the day, a quick point to mention, some of you may need a more micromanageable plan, i.e. people know exactly what you're up to throughout the entire day. Okay, this was true for me. I could not even walk around the shop without questions being asked. Okay, but of course this was all brought on by myself because for me, the addictive part of me back in the day, that would be an opportunity for me, of course, to buy drugs or drink, okay? So some people may need a more micromanageable approach. It's not a bad thing at all. It holds you accountable and people simply love you and they don't want you to fail. So um, if that's the case, guys, and you feel like that's the case, don't hold it personally. You'll thank these people in the long run, okay? From there, guys, you need to start doing recovery work. By recovery work, we mean start to do new and exciting healthy habits, okay? Start to install healthy habits, okay? Things that are gonna do your mind and body good. Remember, we're switching it up, okay? We've gone from bad to good. So things like recovery journal, gratitude list, self-reflection, um, get shit done list, you know, my to-do list, all these types of things, okay? Very important to start to implement these types of things. Yoga, meditation, all these new exciting habits that you're gonna start to install in your life. Start to pick them, start to go through and go, what do I wanna do? Which one shall I start to do? Like for me, is the gym is a very important aspect of my recovery, but you do not have to go and lift heavy weights every day, guys. Any type of physical activity, is going to help you massively, okay? Even if it's just going out for a walk, okay? Get it done, start to put that into your routine, okay? Very, very important. Also guys, from there, I would recommend, completely up to the individual, you can start to attend self-care groups. Now there are dozens of different self-care groups available out there today. You can do the CA, the AA, the NA, the Smart Recovery. There's a whole list of them, there's hundreds of them. Okay, now many people feel like they need to do the groups. Um, of course, for obvious reasons like support, it's good to connect with people, it's good to share your story. So I would recommend putting one of those into your schedule. But of course, it's completely up to the individual. Another option for you guys is to have maybe coaching or counseling. For me, I had addiction counseling, which helped me massively. Having a coach or a counselor, they're gonna hold you accountable as well. They're gonna be there for support. They're gonna teach you education on addiction um, and they're gonna set goals for you. So really, it's all up to you how you wanna go about it. But I think it's definitely a very good idea to choose some of them or even both um, for support reasons, for accountability reasons, and of course, it's good to have that appointment in the diary for the week, you know, because it holds you accountable and it's good to release and to talk to someone. So I would definitely recommend putting one of those in. And another thing, guys, is have some sort of fitness or activity schedule, okay? Very important to have a regular exercise routine. This is gonna help to keep your mood elevated. It's gonna regulate your mood. Um, you're going to connect with people. It's very important, guys, especially in the early days of recovery and change, and even ongoing in life. Very important to make sure our mood is regulated in the early days, because there's going to be times when you are going to question, is this all even worth it? Can I be bothered? I feel like crap. I want to drink. Okay, that is going to happen for so many people, and that is when you are going to be tested to the full extent. So I would recommend trying to implement some sort of exercise routine into your schedule from the get-go, 
guys you can research it online there's lots of free stuff on there start implementing that guys so there's in a nutshell, some of the hard work that is going to be required. And guys, remember it's consistency. So you're doing these things daily, all the time. This is now your new lifestyle. Implement that, the benefits will come. That is my recommendations. Okay then guys, now with all those things in place, I wanna give you three key points for you to remember during this transformation, this journey of recovery that you're on. And the first one is this people, the road to recovery. You need to remember, it's a journey, not a destination. Guys, the day you get complacent and stop doing the recovery work is the day you put your chances of relapse at their highest. Remember guys, this is a lifestyle, it's a journey. You need to keep doing the recovery work, okay? Keep doing it and maintain it throughout your entire life. This will give you the greatest chances of success and achieving that goal of sobriety. So remember guys, journey, not a destination. Okay guys, now the second point I wanna give you is this, that you need to remember. Recovery is not a linear process. And what I mean by that people is this. If you are somebody who has been using hard drugs 10, 15, 20 years of your life, you know, and you have an addiction problem and you recognize that, the chances of you just waking up one day and saying, that's it, I'm done, I'm stopping, it's very unlikely that that's going to work and you're gonna succeed, okay? Recovery takes time, it is a process. Now that doesn't give you the green light to go and use and say, oh, Mark said it's okay, I can stop, start as and when I want, and use that as an excuse. Not at all, people. What I'm saying is this, that you need to be realistic, okay? If you are putting 100% maximum effort into your recovery, but somehow you do fail, the most important thing you can do is try to learn from it. That is why we try to encourage you to keep an addiction journal so you can reflect back, you know, where was I? Who was I with? How did it happen? How was I feeling? Or was I simply just too weak people, okay? So you need to learn from it, guys, and just remember, recovery is not a linear process. If it does happen, guys, pick yourself up, get back on the wagon and go again. Now, the third and final key point I want you to take away from this video today, suffering, guys. The road to recovery is not an easy journey, okay? This is the reality. Expect to suffer along the way. There is going to be times when you feel down, you feel low, depressed, and you're gonna question this whole process. Can I be bothered with this? Is this worth it, you know? What am I doing this for? Urges and cravings, guys, will rise to the surface and you're going to be tested along the way. The most important thing, guys, is that you stay focused, you stay present, and you remember the goal. Remember, these thoughts and feelings are temporary. They will wear off. But when they do rise, guys, you need to be prepared and you need to act accordingly. Like I explained in my last video, go for a run, jump on the Stairmaster, go for a drive, call someone, go and see a family member. Do whatever it is necessary in order for you to overcome them and surpass them and at the end of the day guys win and fight to live another day so the best advice i can give you guys is expect to suffer along the way the more you're prepared for it the greater chance you have to overcome it okay guys now of all that great information i've just given you let's just say now you're three or six months sober you know everything's going well you're now entering what we call the maintenance phase this is the highest level on the stages of change model. And guys, it's exactly what it says, maintenance. Everything that you've been doing to get you to this point, it's working, so keep doing it, okay? Maintenance, never take your foot off the gas, as I said earlier. It's a journey, not a destination. The day you get complacent is the day you put your chances of relapse at their highest. Remember guys, one day at a time, every day is the same. There is no need to fascinate over the minutes, hours, and days you are sober. Keep it in the background as a rough guide and remember to reward yourself when you hit a milestone. Guys, it's simple, no need to overcomplicate it, maintenance. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully you have learned something. Just remember people, hard work, sacrifice, motivation, discipline, all of those things I've just talked about in the video is what it takes to achieve and maintain sobriety, okay? Put 100% effort in and never give up, guys, okay? Next video, people, I will be in Mexico. Adios.